Good evening, YouTubers. Bald Rhino here. Wonderful PSA reveal of a giant bulk order I had recently. 60 days, just got it back. I'm going to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. This is the good. I thought this card would come back a 5. It came back in uh, 8. 79 OJ Simpson. The quality of this video should be better since I have my lovely daughter assisting me this evening. Uh, PSA 9. Dennis Eckersley. 83 tops. Sweet. Some real wins. A 10, 19, uh, 2015 Panini stars Chris Bryant. I had a bunch of these and I picked two to submit and two both got tens. So I cried probably about 30 minutes for each card. So happy. And then I picked one card that I really thought I was going to get a 10 on, and I did. An 84 Donner Steve Garvey. This isn't worth much, but boy, it's in great shape. And I was happy to... I thought I'd get a 9 or a 10. That's what I tried to do with this, and you'll see some of the victories and the defeats here shortly. Uh, 1982 Pete Rose. 1982 no, PSA 9. Another Pete Rose. PSA 9 in action, 82 tops. I'm a big Red Machine fan. Um, obviously, that's where my love of Johnny Bench came from. Another Pete Rose, 81 tops, off center. You know, sometimes you submit them, you hope you're going to get a 9 and not the OC, but this one did. This was kind of a stupid card to... Uh, Send it in, but I really thought it would be a 10. It came back a 9, so now I have a 9 common for 81 tops. Steve Comer. This one actually uh, is one of the bigger wins. This is the Kirby Puckett rookie card, 1985 tops, PSA 9. Bought that at Goodwill. True story. Here's a card that I just bought for, I think it was like 25 cents. Uh, but it says Johnny Bench on it. And it's Living Legends, PSA 9. Nineteen eighty-five Tops, Oral Hershiser. This is his rookie card. Also a nine. Nineteen eighty-three Tops, Reggie Jackson, PSA nine. And a 1986 Tops traded Jose Canseco. I've had a really good, a lot of good luck on these boxes, these Tops traded boxes. They just, I've had nines and or nine fives and Beckett come back. So this was another one of those great deals. I have actually some pretty good Jose Canseco cards. I love that dude, despite the, the stigma of steroids. Now here are some of the losses. This one I thought would be a nine. Unfortunately, it is not. It's an eight. Another card I thought was going to be a 9. Mike Schmidt, 82 Donners, but comes back an 8. Tops, Johnny Bench, 1980. Love that dude. Best catcher ever. Steve Carlton, 79, PSA 8. I'm a Bo Jackson collector, so you'll go, why did he slab these? Well, they looked like 9s or 10s to me. They're not <laughs> to PSA, but still. Score, Bo Jackson, 8.5. There are some really great score cards of Bo Jackson in this junk era right here. Here's one of my favorites is when he busted that bat over his knee. That's an 8. With the black around, and I really thought it'd do better, but nope. Carlton Fisk, 1979, PSA 8. Jim Rice, 81, tops, PSA 8. Should have been a 9. I don't know what's wrong with that card, but... 
1983 tops, Gary Gaetti, PSA 8. Another Johnny Bench, 82 Donruss. Best catcher ever. Hope you heard that the first time. And this is the purest disappointment of the of the submission. Really thought this was a 9 or a 10. And I picked this up uh, it's just so cheap. And I said, man, I, I'm going to hit the lotto on this, but I didn't. PSA 8. But it's still a nice card. 1960 Millie, Willie Mays and Rigney. Master Mentor card, but just didn't happen. But PSA 8 is nice. And then 1983 Pete Rose, PSA 8. A lot of Pete Rose in this. A lot of Pete Love. I'm curious as to what people think if you'll ever get back into the Hall of Fame. Or I mean if you'll ever get to the Hall of Fame. You certainly should be there given some of the characters that are in there, but I don't know. There's Pete Rose 73, PSA 6. These are some childhood cards coming up that I just slab because I love them. Steve Carlton, 6.5, 73. This is one that I thought would do better, but it didn't. 2013 Mini, Ted Williams, PSA 7. Two childhood cards coming up here. 76, Mike Schmidt, PSA 6. Mike Schmidt again, PSA 6. Pete Rose, 77, PSA 5. I'm kind of uh, becoming one of those guys that is going to slap just about anything that's vintage. Uh, just because I have bought so many cards that were vintage that are trimmed or fake or fraud, fraudulent. I just don't want to do that to somebody else if I ever sell the cards. So this is 77 George Brett, PSA 6. Mike Schmidt, 77, PSA 6. Some of these have really nice centering on them, which I decided to slab them anyway. The corners are never going to support... And the edges are never going to support a really high grade, but they look great in the slab. Now we're going to get to some of the real, the ugly. Um, Big Mike or Michael, I can't remember which it is, talks about uh, grade the cards honestly yourself before you submit them. This is one that I sure, clearly should not have graded. I thought that the card would get an 8 OC, but it comes back a 6. And that's a bummer. This is another one, uh, experimenting with the 1985 Topps football set. It's incredibly hard to grade, but I thought that one would do much better. But the black borders are impossible to get a good read on, so that was a 6. But sweetness looks awesome going through the middle, though, doesn't he? And here is a PSA 7 of Reggie and Mike Schmidt, home run leaders for 1980. And there's a, supposed to be a stain on that card, and I've looked everywhere, couldn't find it. So, there you go. And then really bad, the really ugly coming here. So I thought this card, this is a Hank Aaron 73, would do better, but it's PSA four. Another Hank Aaron PSA three. I know why this card. I didn't realize there's a little damage on one of the corners and they really PSA just I mean not on the corners but the edges really persecute the grade for those kinds of cards and now the ugliest of all PSA 2 Nolan Ryan I don't know what's going on with the card I, I'm going to study it later today but Elite Co 3 I'm going to submit something get a deuce <laughs> I can tell you that and then last and this is why I just am about done buying um, cards that are raw. Uh, it's because people trim them or they're not what they say they are. And this is the second Don Mattingly rookie card that I've submitted that came back uh, not grade worthy. 
So hopefully we can run enough videos and educate the public enough to just stop that stuff because it's just like blowing money. All right, I hope this video was great. Sorry it was so long. It was my first really large break. So have a good night. Take care.